Good morning, ladies and gents. My name is Ian Neil, and I've decided to do a few live sessions to help young people who are trying to get the Security Plus exam. Over five weeks, I'm going to deliver some free sessions. Let's look at the timetable. So it's going to be me, Ian Neil, live. There's going to be Security Plus 601 training. The jargon and the examples I'm going to use are specifically for the SYO 601 exam. The free training schedule is going to be 19th of June. There's going to be a tax. 26th of June is going to be networking. 3rd of July is going to be encryption. I'm on holiday in Grenada, but I'll take an hour out anyway. There's going to be a break on the 10th of July because I'm in transit. 17 July, we're going to do disaster recovery. And 27th of July, we're going to be authentication. And if these are well received by people, I will then put some more sessions on. So where is the training held? It's held on Zoom. I've got a meeting room of 827-8643-1776. And the passcode is 827-933. What time will it be held? It will be held at nine every Sunday nine o'clock EST and 1400 British summer time. Now you say to yourself, who is Ian Neil? I'm an author, I've wrote two Security Plus books and a practice test, but what do I actually physically do? I've taught Security Plus 40 weeks a year for the past five years. I've done 10 day boot camp and I've got an exceptionally high pass rate. Of all the authors, I'm the only one that does Security Plus week in, week out. Therefore, what I wrote, I wrote myself a certification guide and not a study guide. So what is Security Plus dot training? Well, Security Plus dot training is a free website that I've created with exam prep resources. It's also got exam prep advice. And let's have a quick look at securityplus.training. So we can see here's the, the landing page. I've got acronym flashcards. I've got win a free exam voucher. You don't have to take training with me, but there's a free exam voucher you can go into here. Just put yourself in. That's for the, the draw. Then let's go back to the first page, exam preparation. Now, not only am I writing a book to help you get certified, but here's the exam preparation that you need to look at. You're going to get a maximum of 90 questions in 90 minutes. There's going to be multiple choice and performance based. And you need a 750 out of 900, which is 83.3%. Here's the exam domains. There's five exam domains. And the first session we're going to start off with is a tax. And that is 24% of your actual exam. And here is my thing, exam preparation, study of path. You need a, a study guide, a timetable. Then you need flashcards and that exam preparation, you know, exam tips, other resources. Here is my study guide. I've also got my website. I also highly recommend Professor Messer's videos. Now, Professor Messer's videos are fantastic for people that don't have any background information, but unfortunately, James Messer doesn't go as deep as I do. And then I've got some videos. Now, the Security Plus exam has got a lot of acronyms. And if you look at the study guide, it tells you about the book. My publisher calls it a study guide. I'll call it a certification guide. And this is here to help you learn. But if we go under study guide and go for glossary, a lot of people study, struggle with acronyms. So I've got an acronym AD, and I tell you what it is. And these are quite good for learning acronyms. Also, I've got acronym flashcards. Because one of my friends took Security Plus, he says it's like alphabet soup, everything's an acronym. 
So three DES, what is three DES? It's triple DES encryption. Then you go to the next one and you work your way through those. I've also got flashcards where there's quite a few flashcards. What type of attack is internet interception attack where the data is followed at a later stage? This is obviously a replay. And how do you prevent it? Enable Kerberos. And you go through, I think I've got about 800 flashcards. I've then also got flashcards for ports. Port numbers are not heavily tested, but you need to know some. What port does SSH use? It uses 22. And you can go through all the way through there. I've then got performance-based questions. Now, if you look at attacks, down one side, I've got input validation. So what is input validation? I think it's cross-site scripting. So I dropped cross-site scripting in there. Oh dear, I got it wrong. And then what I've got is, what is Hashcat? Oh, that is used for past the hash. There you go there. And you go all the way through here, what is directory transversal? And if you can do, the 17 of these. I've also got them with certificates and wireless. I've also got some practical exercises. Now, these practical exercises are set up so that if you've got a Windows 10 home PC, you can do it. So let's explore DNS. You can see here what I've got down here. Right click, start, choose run, type in CMD. This is what your output is going to be. And then I've got instructions all the way through there. I've got a few simulations. And then I've got a couple of mock exams at the end. You take the mock exam to see how you're doing. And I think it's continuous delivery. I've got it wrong. It's integration. But at the very end, there's a lot of descriptions why it's the answer and why it's not. So there's my website that's going to help you get certified. It's free. Then what is my book like? It's a certification, not study guide. It uses the same jargon as the exam. Geeks don't like some parts of it because to them, they seem quite weird. And that's because the exam is a little bit weird at times. This is taken a couple of days ago from Amazon. You can see I'm a bestseller on Amazon. I've got 1170 ratings and you can get the Kindle version for about $13. Now we're going to go into chapter nine, and this is identifying threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities. And this is the very first one of the session.